This week on the Auto Insider, we're reviewing the 2020 Toyota Avalon. This is the limited edition. It's not the top of the line, but it has everything that the Auto Insiders need to compete in the luxury car market. Now, some of you may be in the market for its cousin, the Lexus brand. And while there is a little bit of a panache or an extra something that goes along with having the luxury quote unquote air quotes in the air brand, this Avalon leaves nothing to be desired. Starting with this 3.5 liter V6 engine that puts out 301 horsepower, you're looking for a full size luxury sedan. You also wanna have good power. But with that good power comes LED headlights, LED brake lights, new sloping designs that bring this vehicle forward to the 21st century. Even the wheel and tire package here Give this vehicle a little bit something that makes it a little bit more than your average Toyota. When we work our way to the inside, this peanut butter leather interior is what we call it with the two-tone wrapped leather steering wheel. Feels great in your hand, sporty almost, and luxurious. But these seats with the stitching and detail, even the quilted door panels, lets you know that Toyota means business. The power steering has power, tilt, and telescoping features, so you get that steering wheel right where you want. They've even gone in and put real wood finishes here on the door and the dash. All of your safety, radio, phone controls right here on the steering wheel. Keep your eyes on the uh, road and your hands on the steering wheel. You have two cup holders, one for larger cups, one for smaller cups. And like I said, heated and ventilated front seats, as well as heated second row seats. But we'll get to that in a minute. This JBL audio stereo system sounds great. Only thing I would say is bad, it doesn't have Android Auto, but it does have Apple CarPlay. And this feature I really love. How many times have you been driving, someone's talking to you, your favorite song is on, and you miss a piece? Well, Toyota has radio replay. You can just go right back to where you were and get that song again. Backup camera works great. Left side of the dash, you get the full view from the front or the rear. Right side, you get a 360 bird's eye view so you can see what's going on around you. Kids, grandkids, bicycles, all of that viewed right here from the camera that you can adjust the views. This vehicle has lane departure warning, um, collision avoidance, blind spot monitoring, parking assist, it even has heads up display. So right here on your windshield, all of your stuff on your dash plays right in your line of vision. So you don't have to look down to check those types of things. From the moment we entered this 2020 Avalon, even the greeting from the dashboard said to us that this is not just an afterthought. This is a vehicle that Toyota has really put a lot of time into in developing and making sure that they kept this segment of the buying public in place. Example, plenty of places here for storage. Put your cell phone here, put it away. You have three different modes for your transmission, eco, normal, sport, power parking brake. You have two USB ports and a place to plug up your phone to do things like navigation and to work your Apple CarPlay. Again, I say one thing I think they missed, they don't have Apple Android controls here on the steering wheel like I talked about. You have auto dimming headlights, you have heated steering wheel, power, automatic up and down windows. You have the keyless remote with the power deck lid. Trunk is what you'd expect from a full size sedan. Luggage, golf clubs. You're gonna be going to do something extra, need a little extra room, 60-40 folding split, second row seats. That does allow you to carry some things you must have. Backseat room is abundant. Dual cup holders and even a place here for your little ones to store their smartphones or devices. Heated second row seats and two more USB chargers on the second row. And just about a week ago, I was out in Park City, Utah with Toyota for the reveal of the 2021 all wheel drive Avalon. It's gonna come with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, this so it's not gonna be quite as powerful but it is gonna make a dent in the all-wheel drive market. 
I'll tell you, with a base price of $42,100 for this limited edition and a all-in price of the one that's tested is $44,180, you can't miss with the new 2020 Toyota Avalon and for what's coming in 2021. Tune in now to the Auto Insight on News and Talk 1380 WAOK, and I'll give you a complete review of our week in this 2020 Toyota Avalon Limited.